I'm Joe Meir. Uh, I am the Vice President of All Star Insurance Agency, Inc. And we're located here in Aventura, Florida. Uh, my name is Julio Jimenez. I have lived in Miami for 43 years. We have been in this community for, for quite a long time. My name is Rob Compton. I run the South Florida Business Development Team, and I've been on with Infinity for five years. Tuesday, January 12th, a 7.0 earthquake hit about 15 miles outside Port-au-Prince. Basically 200,000 people lost their lives almost instantly. With that type of loss, two to three million people were hungry. So the question was, how do we help? The Miami market itself is such a diverse area. Cultures are so, di so different there, people groups of all different kinds there. So we knew that people would want to help. We knew people want, would want to find a way to give back. We set up a couple of boxes in the office. We let our clients know that they could come and drop, drop, uh, drop off, uh, you know, food and uh, and and clothing uh, for the people in Haiti. And uh, we also the employees uh, really helped out in in bringing, uh, you know, bringing things that we could donate. It was a collection point for our customers, for the community, even even people that didn't were not even customers, but they knew that we were here. And then we were going out to different parts of, of, of the city and, and letting them know and, and contacting some of the local politicians to also let them know that we were a focal point if they wanted to uh, help with, uh, with the Haitian relief. The main reason why we did it was that Infinity got so involved in it. Uh, Rob and Gerald and Geraldine, they, they really got involved in it. They set it up in a way that they made it easy for us to help. It was neat to see the national marketing team quickly again want to get involved in the process and designing the, the posters and the banners and the flyers. It was just a matter of all the, all the pieces of corporate office in the field coming together for one common goal. And we were able to get about 80 boxes worth of supplies that we put on a U-Haul that we then drove to meet a pastor and his wife and to put all the supplies on a crate a crate bound for Haiti. As they had a, cr a team of people there loading the boxes up and those kind of things, the pastor and I began to engage in the conversation. And the more we talked, the more I could just tell. Um, again, he had a, a definite passion for his folks, and he was in charge of about 15 churches there. And so we started to talk more and more, and all of a sudden the question started in my mind, go, well, how, do I, how else do I help? What else can I do? It's great the clothes and all that, but what else can I do? And kind of in a casual kind of way, he said, hey, you should come. You should come and speak. And kind of laughed it off like, sure. But, you know, my heart, I wanted to yeah, be cool, but never really thought much of it. So over the course of the next few weeks, it was a matter of trading, trading emails back and forth and praying through it and talking to, to my family and trying just to make sure it was exactly what God wanted me to do, um, decided to go. One thing that happens when you go on mission trips and those kind of things is you're, it's very clear the trip's not about you. You go in and you're, you go in, go in with the expectant heart of how you can give back and, and how you can serve. But when you land in a place like that that just has had so much devastation happen to it so fast, it's just chaos. When you come back from a trip like this, you go through and think about all the different ways that God has blessed you with the family and where you live and how you live and those kind of things. But there's also the urgency that comes, comes in as well. As I look around, everything that I see in my house and whatever possessions I might have, they're not mine. And the key is, what do I do with them? And how can I help? When I see people live that way, should it not change the way that I live? When I see people go through the devastation that they went through and struggle to eat, struggle to get water, and, and we we buy a 24 pack like it's no big deal and that could save lives. It just changes your perspective. It changes how you see things and it changes the world. It changes the way you view the world.